This game is called Square Deal. So for this game, I'll need a game board, which we're gonna make today, and a deck of cards with all the cards in it. So, um, first we're gonna make our game board. So I'm gonna make a grid on my page, and you can easily just make one at home too. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm gonna make a four by four grid. So I have 16 squares total on my grid. And in my grid, I'm gonna draw um, a variety of numbers um, between um, 11 and 20. So I can do them however I want. And I may need to repeat some. And this is fun because I can make um, a new game board every time I play, or I can reuse the same one and use chips on it, um, however it works for you. But every time I play, if I'm making new game boards, then I have um, different combinations of numbers that I get to play with. So now in my deck of cards, I'm going to make my ace cards worth one. So these are now worth one. And all of my face cards, so my kings, um, my queens, and my jacks are all going to be worth 10. And if I'm going to play um, with another person or even by myself, I can see which color will win. So I, since I'm playing alone, I'll just see which color marker is gonna win the game. I'm rooting for pink, so I hope pink wins, but who knows, we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tens, my kings, and my queens out of my um, stack of cards because I want all my tens removed. So remember, all of these are now worth 10. So my kings, my queens, and my jacks are all worth 10. So I'm going to take them out of the pile. I'm still gonna use them, but you'll see how it works in a moment. So for this game, I'm adding any number plus 10. So my whole stack of cards here that's worth 10, and then I have my whole stack of cards here that are worth other numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn two cards over and I'm gonna add the number together. So in this situation, I have 10 plus one. I know 10 plus one is 11. So I can find an 11 on my board. I'm gonna play for pink first. And pink can take one of the 11s. Now it's blue's turn. So blue has 10 and nine. 10 plus nine is 19. So if blue sees any 19s on the board, they can cross those off. Pink's turn, 10, because king is worth 10, plus three is 13. Now, the idea of this game is you wanna be the first person to get four squares that make up one larger square. That's why it's called square deal. So if pink sees any 13s that would help make up a square that I already have, that might be a good idea. Or I could try to block the blue. So here I see that blue has a 13, so I'm gonna steal it so that blue can't take that, those four squares. Now it's blue's turn. 10 plus one, because my ace is worth one, is 11. So there's only one 11 on the board, so blue has to take that one. Pink has 10 plus one again. So if pink sees any 11s, uh-oh, there are no 11s left. So pink skips that turn, now it's blue's turn. 10 plus three is 13. 13 here that blue can take. 10 plus six is 16. Oh, I like this one for pink because I can take that square right there. Blue has 10 plus two is 12. There's a 12 right there that blue can take. Blue also could have chosen to block pink there. Let's see. Pink has 10 plus four. Ooh, so pink can take this one. Pink only needs 
one more to get the square deal. Blue's turn, 10 plus five is 15. So I'm gonna have blue take this one. All right, blue only needs one more too. 10 plus two is 12. So pink got a square deal. Pink got a square deal, so that means pink won this game. Now I can shuffle all my cards and I can play again to see which color wins next. Remember, if you have somebody at home that would like to play with you, you can play against a person, but if you don't, you can just play one color against another. That's fun too.